What inspired you to write your piece? Uh, well, one of them is based on like a really obscure folk tale from Chertsey, <laughs> Suffolk, I think. Um, and it's um, kind of a story of like um, this really brave woman. Um, so during the Wars of the Roses, uh, there um, was a lady called Black Chariot who was engaged to a man who at that time was on the wrong side uh, and he'd been captured and was sentenced to hang. Uh, but um, Black Chariot's family was owed a favour at court, so they sent to court for a pardon for him. Uh, and the guy returning with the pardon got delayed um, and he was sentenced to hang at the stroke of curfew. So she climbed the bell tower and hung onto the bell so that it wouldn't ring um, and saved her lover's life. Wow, it's an amazing story. I've never yeah. heard that before. Um, so that was the one. What about the other? Uh, oh, the other one is sad breakup poetry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Would you have to go into that? <laughs> so, how long have you been writing poetry or uh, I've been writing poetry since I was 14. I think I've been writing in general a lot longer than that, as long as I can remember. I still occasionally find bits of paper that I wrote on when I was like seven, and I'm like, what's this? Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> you were seven, so. Yeah. Do you write in any other side, any other form aside from poetry? Uh, I write plays sometimes, um, and I wrote letters recently as well. I've kind of fallen out of love with prose, because it, it's kind of, I don't really have the patience for it. Um, are there any authors or particular works which influence you in your writing? Uh, in terms of poetry, um, I really love uh, Richard Sykin, um and Ocean View Wong. I really like very contemporary up to the minute kind of poets. I feel like they're the best people to be reading in terms of furthering our writing. Um, Margaret Atwood as well, who obviously is better known for her but I really like poetry as well. And how do you feel about the submission process? Uh, submissions are weird. I, I do a lot of submissions. It's, I don't know, sometimes you get really patronising rejection <laughs> uh, emails uh, that talk to you like you're five, and sometimes you will get rejection emails that feel so lovely and that clearly really looked over your work and they don't feel like a rejection and then sometimes you get accepted which is wonderful. <laughs> um, what is your writing process? Uh, I carry around a notebook with me and I capture thoughts as they come to me um, and then I tend to go home and kind of pop on a laptop unless I'm like somewhere like on a long train journey where I might write an entire poem just because I'm bored. So trains is one place, uh, where else do you write? Um, I think I write a lot in my head when I don't have physical access to my notebook. I do stuff like I, I find myself mentally kind of composing in the, the shower or the bath or like when I'm out for a walk with my headphones in. Um, what was your favourite childhood book? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> when I was really small, um, there was this book, I don't know who it's by, and it's called My Grandpa is Amazing, and it's like a pitch book for like kids that are learning to read. Um, and I loved it so much that before I could even read, I'd memorised it to the point where I knew when to turn the pages. <laughs> My dad used to get me to do it in front of house guests. <laughs> that would always be like, startled by what a genius I was. Um, do you have a favourite line from either of your poems that you remember? Uh, yeah, I think my favourite line um, from Black Cherry is the, the last one, um, is he saved, is he saved, is he saved. And could you please sum up your, your poems in one sentence, maybe one sentence for one poem, another for the other. Um, surgical breakup <laughs> and bell ringing pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. <laughs>